as we know we discussed uh, contact forces in the last class so contact forces means it will take so totally how, how many bodies we have taken contact forces means so three bodies are attached to each other and single body we have been applied the force is it yes or no so let me take this is the body one and this is the body two and and this is the a uh, body three is it yes so this is what uh, body two body one m1 and body two m2 and body three m3 so three bodies are in contact together now i'm applying force on a single body so what is that body i'm i'm applying a force on a f1 so you will notice it i am applying the force on f1 so now as we know here so totally if i am applying the force on f1 then the force acting m1 and m2 what is the force we used to call as the force acting yes. between m1 and m2 is f12 same with the force acting between m2 and m3 what we used to call f f2 f23 so this is what we have been done now if you'll notice it here so as we have taken for m1 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 what will become what is as we know in this case so something is constant all the bodies will move with what acceleration same acceleration so acceleration is remains constant so if you'll take the force now the force acting on first body if you'll take so what is that m1 is equals to what will come everybody m1 is equals to what last class we have been done correct so first of all i want to find yeah. the acceleration acceleration is equals to what will come acceleration is equals to from the newton second law so we know that by the force is equals to mass into acceleration now as we know all these bodies will move with the same acceleration is it yes or no so that is why acceleration is equals to we know that force by mass so now force we know that already we are acting f but mass is equals to what m1 plus m2 plus m1 plus m2 yes or no so this is what uh, we have been done to calculate the acceleration now what is the contact force between m1 and m2 what is the contact force between m1 and m2 f1 to is equals to contact force between m1 and m2 which is equals to what we used to call m1 and m2 contact force f12 f12 so f12 is equals to what will happen we have to subtract the if the force is acting on uh, between m1 and m2 that is what we can say f12 so f12 is equals to what is the formula hari f12 is equals to what is the formula m3 m2 plus m3 into the divided by what will happen m1 plus m2 plus m3 so this is what is it as mitakshri yes or no now contact forces between contact forces between m2 and m3 what is that name called as everyone m2 and m3 yeah. that is called as f23 now f23 is equals to what will happen f23 is equals to only third body third body into force divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 so this yes. is what it is okay so now observe very carefully if i have been taken first f12 case so now why we are considering two body masses here m2 and m3 means because first body we are applying the force and this force is only acting on second body or third body so that is why mass of second body plus mass of third body into force divided by sum of all the masses now f23 means what only second body acting force on which body second body is acting force on which body guys f23 means second body is acting force on third body so that is why m3 into f divided by sum of all the three bodies that is what m1 plus m2 plus m3 so this is what we studied in the last class is it as anybody is having any doubt please let me know no now no. observe very carefully this is what we used to call it as contact forces what is this concept ready contact force contact. now contact forces means all are in all are in touch with each other or not everyone all are in touch or not 
I call to Arun Kailas and Danish Kar, please. So all are in contact with each other. Yes, Mithakshri, they are touching each other or not? Akilan? Yes, sir. Now, okay. the concept which we are going to study is, observe very carefully, they are not in contact, but they are connected. What is that? They are connected bodies. Now, next one we are going to study, connected bodies. Please, all of you keep heading. Connected bodies. What do you mean by connected bodies? Anybody let me know who will say connected bodies. They are not in contact, but they are attached to each other with the help of something. That is what all together are standing. For example, you can notice it. A one body is present here. Are you understanding? Another body is present here. Now, another body is present here. Now, if you notice it, I, I kept all this one in the particular surface and I'm trying to pull the surface. Now all these three bodies are in what? They are not in contact each other, but they all three are connected with the surface or not? Please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what? So like these bodies we used to call as, what bodies we can say? Connected bodies. Understand everyone? So now let me take the three, boss, uh, three bodies, which is having masses, what hurry? M1, M2 and M3. M3. Let me take this body is M1 and this body is what Gokul? M2 and this body is what? M3. Now, M3. these all are connected by light strings. They have been connected by what? Light strings. Understand? They are not in contact. They have been attached by what? They have been attached by light strings. Strings means what? Thread. Are you understand everybody? So like thread-like things, they have been connected. They have been not attached. Joining guys, do you know that? Everyone, yes, please respond. Yes, so that is what? Yes. So they have been uh, connected by light strings. And you can see these are pulled in a particular direction. So I, I connected all this one with the light strings and I'm pulling in this direction. So this is what I'm applying the force. What is this called as? Pulling, understanding? Now, these all the bodies will move each other or not? They'll move together or not? Yes, please respond. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, you tell me, in this case also, all of you observe very carefully, when the bodies are connected with the light strings and I'm applying force on where? I'm trying to pulling that. Yes or no, guys? Please respond. So, all these three bodies will move with the, what acceleration again? They all will move with the, same acceleration. Same acceleration. Yes, that is what. Same acceleration they will move. Now, let me consider it has been connected with the string. First one is connected with the string T1. What is that? T1. And this one is connected with the T2. Is it okay, everybody? First body and second body connected with the what? Yes. First body and second body connected T1 with the what? T2. T2. Third body and T1. second body and third body is connected with the what? T2. Okay. So now I am moving that. Now you can notice it. Ready? Have you called to Danishkar? Now observe very carefully. In this also, I am applying the force here. Yes, that is what pulling. In connected bodies, okay, sorry, contact bodies, I am applying pulling or pushing. I am applying what? Pushing. Do you understand? It? F1, I am applying the force on the first body. That is what we used to call it as pushing or pulling, guys. We used to call it as? Please respond. Pushing, we can say. Now here, Connect, connected bodies, I am applying full so, But still, both all the case, all the two cases, bodies will move with the wall. Same acceleration. What is that? Same acceleration. Understand? Now, for M1, what is happening? Tell me, everybody. For M1 and T1, for M1, M1 is to T1 if you will take. So, what is that acceleration? Force. M1 into A. Is it yes or no? Yes, please, everyone. All of you, mass of the body one into acceleration. That is what it is happening. Now, same way for M2, tell me. For M2, what is happening? T2 minus, T2 minus whom? M2, M2, which is equal to T2 minus T1, which is equal to what? M2 into, M2 into acceleration. acceleration. That is what will happen. Now, if for M3, M3, what will happen? Finally, force. So for M3, what will happen? For M3, observe, force minus 2, 3, sorry, T2, F minus T2, which is equals to what? 
M3 into A because all the bodies are moving with the what? Constant acceleration. Understand? So uniform acceleration only they will move. So M3 is to F minus F minus what? T2 is equals to M3A. So this is what will happen for M1 and M2 and as well as M3. So now in this case, if we'll take what is the acceleration, total acceleration of the system? Anybody can tell? Total acceleration, acceleration of the system. Again, same thing. With actually, acceleration of the system is equals to what will happen? Total force divided by sum of the body masses. That is what? M1 plus M2 plus what is that? M1 plus M2 plus M3. M3. That is what? Acceleration of the system. So, if we we'll take the entire acceleration, acceleration of system acceleration of system is equals to total applied force is it a pulling force or pushing force pulling force or pushing force total applying force pulling force divided by sum of the masses that is our connected bodies m1 plus m2 plus m3 do you understand Ra? ready yes please that is what acceleration of the system now i want t1 t1 is equals to what we already did t1 is equals to what are T1 is equals to methoxy. T1 is equals to what? The force acting between the body 1 and 2. T1 is equals to mass of the body 1 into acceleration. Mass of the body 1 into acceleration. Now, same way I want T2. T2 means what? Observe very carefully. T2 is acting where? T2 is acting where, guys? It is acting between? In mass. Yes, please. It is acting between? It is acting between? T2 is acting between where? It needs to be acting mm. between. Now, if you'll understand this formula, you can understand. For example, see, F12. F12 is acting between where and where? Respond, everyone. F12 is acting between where and where? Body 1 and? Body 1 and? 2. 1 and 2. One and two. So now, while we are calculating F12, we have taken which bodies? We have, we have taken which bodies? M2 and M3. Yes or no? Same way, when you have been taken here T2. So T2 is acting between, actually remember, T1 and T2 is the physical property called as tension. Do you remember tension? What do you mean by tension? That is what the strength of a string. It has been connected with what? All the three bodies are connected with what? String. Yes or no? So this string is having a strength. That is what the force we can say. So T1 and T2 are the, yes, T1 and T2 are tension in the strings. What is to call T1 and T2? Sir? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. T1 and T2 is to called as tension. Tension in the strings, we can say. That is what the force applied by uh, strings, which is connected between the bodies, which we is to called as tension okay so now t1 we can identify which is acting between m1 and m2 so that is why t1 is equals to what is the formula t1 is equals to m1 into a okay now t2 means it is acting between the second body and the third body so if you want to find the tension acting in the string 2 then you have to make it connected with the bodies m1 plus m2 into a so this is what will give you the t2 so t2 if you want to calculate means the tension acting on the string 2 is the addition of m1 plus m2 into a sir why sir we are considering here m1 also because m1 is attached with what m1 is attached with what m2 body so that is why if i am trying to pull the m3 i am trying to pull the m2 if i am trying to pull the m2 then m1 is also pulling so that is the reason we have to take when we are calculating the t1 we'll consider m1 into a we are calculating the t2 we'll consider m1 plus m2 into a is it okay everybody yes please so that is what tensions in the string so to calculate the tension the string we have to use remember when the three bodies are uh, connected by the strings and when you are if you want to calculate 
that force acting between the M1 and M2, that is what T1, and the force acting between M2 and M3, that is what uh, T2, if you want to find, then we have to use the which formula, guys? We have to use T1 is equals to what? M1 into A, and T2 is equals to M1 plus M2 into A. Is it okay? Yes, ready? Danishkar? Yes, connected bodies. This is what the formula. Mithakshri, for uh, do you understand what is the difference between contact forces and connected bodies? Contact bodies and connected bodies. Yes, please. Contact forces and connected bodies is different. So contact forces means they are they are being attached to each other, but connected uh, connected bodies means just attached by string. They don't have any kind of physical contact. Only string is trying between them. That is what you have to remember it, everybody. So please note it down. So this is what what is called as connected bodies. Okay, any doubt? All of you, Hari, have you understood Hari? Now in this case, actually now three bodies are connected, how? Yes, sir. Yeah, three bodies are connected by the light strings and they are pulling, pulling in the particular direction like this, okay? So they are pulling in this direction. Now, how many of you know pulley to pump the water in the olden days? Well, they used to drag one pulley. Do you know guys? How many of you know this one? Pulley, pulley, you know, ready? Arun Kailas, still even Tamil Nadu, some houses it will be having. So one yes. well will be having, so when one well will be having, we'll pass one thread with the help of bucket of water and we used to get the, we'll drain the water. Do you remember? Yes, sir. We stayed okay. about it. Yeah. How many of you know this uh, pulleys? This is what we used to call as pulley. Do you know Mithakshri, Vartani? You all people know pulley? Yes. Yes or no? So this pulley is... Yes, so basically pulleys for lifting the heavy loads and all, easily we can lift with the help of pulleys. Yes or no guys? So we'll, we'll send some bucket of water and we'll uh, get the water from the well and all. So this is what yeah. basically we'll do it. Now, yeah. in this case, sir, how to calculate the force and all? Let us uh, calculate. Now, two bodies are connected again with the here rope. This rope only we used to call it as what? String. What is to call? String. So now, observe very carefully, when the two bodies are attached, when two bodies are connected by a light string, passing over a light pulley, passing over a light pulley. Please, all of you write. When two bodies are connected by a light string, when two bodies are connected by a light string, this is the second case in this. Which case? Case two, in which one? Connected bodies. Connected bodies, case two. Is it okay, all of you? Connected bodies, case two is, and two bodies are connected. Two bodies are connected. How, guys? Two bodies are connected by a light string. By a light string, passing over a light pulley. Passing over a what, Hari? Light pulley. Understand everyone? Please respond. Now, yes, observe yes, carefully. If suppose I'm having a balloon here or some body here, I can act the force in this direction. Yes or no? I can act the force in this direction. I can act the force in this direction. I can act the force in this direction. Remember, when I'm acting the force perpendicularly to the surface, let me take this is the surface. When I'm acting the force perpendicularly to the surface, how? Everybody, perpendicularly to the surface, from the bottom or top, remember, perpendicular, perpendicularly to the surface, then that is called as thrust. What is to call? The force acting perpendicularly to the, even class 8 I taught you, you might be remember. When the force acting perpendicularly to the surface, then what is to call that one? We is to call as what? Thrust. Understand? Yes. So force acting perpendicularly to the surface, that is what we used to call it as thrust. Now, here you might be noticed this T. What is this T called as? Anybody? It is acting. What is the T called as? Tension. Uh, what is that? Tension. Understanding tension or we can say it is a 
trust only because it is the force acting perpendicularly to the surface. Now, observe everyone, draw this diagram everybody carefully. So this middle part, what we used to call Vartani, Mithakshri, what is this one, black one? That is what we used to call as, what we used to call guys? Everyone, this is only what we used to call black one, mm -hmm. is only called as what? Pulli, what we used to call? Pulli. Now you will notice, uh, I attached how many bodies now? I attached how many bodies? Two bodies. One is M1 and another one is what? M2. So now you can see M1 is going upward. So acceleration is like this. M2 is coming like this downwards. So whose body is more, whose body is more weight? Whose body weight is more M1 or M2? That is curve. You can see what? M2 or M1? M2 is having more mass than M1. That is why M, M2 is coming down and M2 is going, M1 is going up. Is it yes or no? Try to answer. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Observe very carefully. Yes, mass M1 is less than M2. That is why they mentioned in the diagram very clearly. M2 is greater than what? M2 is greater than? M2 is greater than? M1. M1. Now, as we know, all, all of you tell me what is the force formula? Force formula, force is equals to what? Mass into mass into, mass into acceleration. But in the case of free fall, as I told you, A will be turns into what? In the case of pulling, gravitational force. So in the case of A will turns into what? Gravitational force. Yeah. So the force is equals to turns into what ready? M into G. Understanding? G means what? Everybody, acceleration, gravitational. understanding gravitational force because now it is acting downwards. So downwards, somebody is pulling. Who is that pulling? Gravity. gravity. Understanding that is what will represent with the acceleration due to gravity. Will represent with what? G value. So A is equals to G. So force formula is what? In the case of pulling and pushing towards like this, freely falling. So force is equals to what is the formula? Vartani, Mithakshri, M into G. Understand, Ra? Akilan? So in the case of free fall or in the case of pulling like this bodies, force is equals to mass into acceleration due to gravity. That is what M into G. Is it okay, all of you? Yes? Please respond. Yes, now, as we know, both the cases, both the bodies acceleration is constant or not. This body is going up and this body is coming down. Both okay. acceleration is same or not. Acceleration is same. Understand? Yes. Now, for M1, M1 tell me, for M1 what will happen? Formula. M1 and M1 is equals to what? M1 is to, if you notice it as we know, acceleration if you want to find. So what we have to do? We have to find tension minus M1 is to remember in this case, tension minus M1 into G, which will give you mass of body 1 into acceleration. This is the formula. So how to find M1? If you want to find M1, T minus Mg, which is equals to M1 is equal M1 into A. This is what for body 1. Now body 2, tell me anybody. Body 2. Body 2. For for body two, M2 is M2 is two yes, is no T minus not ready. See here. Here but this body is less weight. Who is less weight ready? By M1 or M2? M1 or M2 less weight? M1. That is why we are removing from the tension. Tension minus M1 M1 into G. But here who is the body heavy? M2 or M1? M2 is what? Heavy weight. So it is coming downward direction. So yes. what will happen? What will happen? M2 into G minus T, which is equals to M2A. Do you understand, Hari? Why I am taking like that? Because body 2 is acting downwards. So its, it's force is more compared yes, to tension. And M1 is going up. Its force is less compared to the tension. That is why I have taken like that. I love you. Do you understand everyone? Please respond. Yes? Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. that is what? So, M1, what is the formula? M1 what? If you want to find the M1, so T minus M1 into G, that is what? M1A. Now, for M2, 
M2 minus G minus T, so M2 into G minus T, which is equals to M2A. This is what will happen. Now, I want to find the acceleration. Sir, in the pulley case, when the two bodies are connected with the strings, then in this case, if I want to find the acceleration, all of you should remember, we'll solve the numericals also related to that. Remember, formula is M2 minus M1 divided by M1 plus M2 into G. What is the formula? Acceleration is equals to? Everybody, M2 minus M1, M2 minus M1 divided by M1 plus M2 into what? Acceleration due to gravity. So this is what acceleration formula in case of two bodies are attached by a simple pulley with the simple strings. So please, all of you note it down. And same way, if you want to find the tension, if you want to find the, what guys? Tension, then tension is equals to tension in the form, tension, which is equals to the formula, two into M1 into M2 into G divided by M1 plus M2. Two into M1 into M2 into G divided by M1 plus M2. So this is the formula for calculating what? For calculating tension. Understanding everybody? So please note it down. This is the acceleration formula in the case of pulleys, and this is the tension formula in the case of uh, two bodies are uh, attached to the simple pulley. Now, what is the thrust acting on the pulley? What is the thrust? As I told you, perpendicular force acting on the pulley. If you will notice it, that is what the up from the top. If you will notice it, what is the thrust acting from the pull acting on the pulley? Anybody? What is the thrust from here? From here, what is the thrust acting on the pulley? Remember, this is what the thrust we can say. So acting on the pulley, which is equal to through two times of t. That is what. So all of you remember thrust acting on the pulley acting on the pulley is two times of tension. What is that? Two times of tension. That's all. Is it okay? Hurry. Ready. This is what uh, acceleration, tension and as well as thrust in the case of two bodies hanging freely. Uh, that is what two bodies are connected by a light string passing over a light pulley. So this is what the case is. Are you understand already? Roshi, Akila, everyone, Arun Kailash, you have to use this is what the formula based upon the question. Mithakshri, have you understand Mithakshri? Yes? Now, in this case, yeah, please all of you note down, this is what the second case. Any doubt anybody can ask me. Are you clear? So, how to find when the two bodies are connected by the light string and they are passing over where? passing over the pulley understanding so passing over the pulley then you have to use these formulas to calculate the acceleration to calculate the tension in the stream and as well as thrust which is exerting on the pulley you have to use this formula so anybody is having any doubt please let me know or else next third case write all of you third case all of you write the third case can I say the third case in this, everyone? Right. Gokul, Gokul, can you hear me? Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Right. Now you can see, this is what all of you wrote down. So this is what the case number three. Consider three blocks of different masses. Consider three blocks of different masses. Consider three blocks of different masses, M1, M2, and M3. M1, M2, and M3. They are connected by strings. They are connected by strings as shown, as shown, as shown. Connected by what? Different masses as shown. And the system is at rest and for different masses. The system is at what? Entire system is in what now? Entire yes. system is in rest for different masses. Is it okay, everybody? 
So now tell me, it is like a hanging, yes or no? So one body is hanging, which is attached to the another body, which is attached to the another body. Three bodies are hanging from the heart surface. This is what like a uh, strings case. So the same thing we have to uh, remember here. Now, the first body is attached with what, what string? T1. And the second body and the first body is attached with what? T2. And the third body and the second body is attached with what? Everybody. What is attached with that? T3. Now, this is what the three bodies which are hanging freely and they all are in what now? They all are in what ready? They all are in state of what? Rest. They are in state of rest. So now, yes, please, yes, please respond. Anybody? Yeah. In this case, now I want T1. Anybody can tell me what is the T1? What, what is for uh, M3, M2, M1? I want, as you know, in every body, acceleration is constant or not? Gravitation. Acceleration is constant. Yes or no? So A is equals to G. G is yes, equals sir. to constant. That is what the first thing you have to understand. Now, what is M3 is equals to? Everyone. M3 into G. Next. M2 also, M2 into G, next M1 into G. Now we want to find these values. So let me see who will find first. I want M3 first. Anybody can tell me what is M3? M3 is equals to what? M3 is equals to only T3. Yes or no? Check it everybody. M3 is equals to what? It is only T3. M3 is only attached with what? M3 is attached with what? Only T3. 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 So, for M3, if we have been taken, is to T3 is equals to what will happen, body? M3 into G. Tension T3 is equals to what? M3 into G. Now, for M2 is equals to, for M2 is equals to what? Which string is attached? M3. Anybody? M2. Which string is attached? T2. T2. That is what? So, M2 is to T2 which is equals to, you have to add it now, be careful. Now you have to see, for M2, one more body is attached. What is the body is attached? Observe very carefully. M3. M, what is that? T3. Yes or no? So that is what? So T2 is equals to M2G plus T3. M2G plus T3. This is what is, because T3 is attached or not? Yes sir, no? Yes sir. That is why it is yes, T3. Now we know already T3. T3 is equals to what? T3 is equals to what? T3 is M3, equals to so M3. Can I so M2G plus T3 means M3G. Now something is constant from this. I can bring it outside. What is that? M2, M3 into G. So that is what is equals to T2. Is it okay everybody? Yes, please. All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next for M1. Anybody can tell me what is for M1? Everyone? For M1? For M1. M1 you tell me. M1 is equals to girls. Mithakshri, can you tell me what is M1? M1 is equals to what now? M1 means T1. So T1 is attached by what? Two bodies are hanging for this. That is what? T1. So M1G plus T2. Can I say or not? M1G plus T2 because T3 means it is already attached with the T3 also. Yes, M1, M1G plus T2. So now M1G, T2 means what? We already did. T2 means what? M2 plus M3 into G. Now in this one is constant. What is that everyone? What is that constant? G. G. So, yeah, I can keep the G outside. So, remaining what will come? M1 plus M2 plus M3. So, that is what T1. Are you understand Ra, how to write now, everyone? Because T1, T1 is attached by all the T2 plus T3. T2 is attached by only T3 and T3 is attached by nothing. That is why we can say M3 into G. Is it okay, everybody? Yes, please. So this is what for M1, M2 and M3. Please all of you note it down. So this is only we used to call it as three different cases of connected bodies. Connected bodies are connected horizontally, bodies are connected by pulley and bodies are connected vertically. So all these three cases you have to use calculating T1, T2, T3. T means what? What do you mean by T? 
T means tension, understanding. Tension in the string means holding capacity. Tension in the string, that is what we used to call as holding capacity. Please remember. What is that? Holding capacity of a load. That is only we used to call as tension. Please note it down. Is it okay? Yes. It's also kind of force. Yeah. Please note it down. This is what it is for. All the three bodies are connected in horizontal and two bodies are connected by pulley and three bodies are attached down one after one. Okay. So make it everyone. Anybody having doubt, ask me. Mithakshri, have you understood Mithakshri? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Danishkar, Yura, Arun Kailash. Mr. Arun Kailas, 